Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle is full of surprises. Its XCOM-style turn-based tactics gameplay is just about the last thing I would have expected from either Mario or Rabbids, and it's way harder and meatier than you probably think. The bizarre story that brings Ubisoft's Rabbids into the Mushroom Kingdom of Nintendo's Mario and literally mashes them together embraces the fact that it's complete nonsense on every level and just rolls with it. It's still a little weird seeing Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi shoot enemies with guns, but other than that, it's a good kind of dumb fun. Even though Mario Plus Rabbids obviously borrows liberally from XCOM, its style of turn-based tactics is different and distinct because of how your team works together, bouncing off each other and using special abilities to maximize movement and damage. That can make it chaotic and confusing in the early levels, because the enemies are so mobile it's tough to predict what they'll do. If an enemy is anywhere near you, he can probably flank you, and there are annoyingly few ways to stop that from happening. But once I'd upgraded my characters, I could do some hugely satisfying chains myself, which makes up for a lot of the early frustration. It effectively promotes a very aggressive playstyle, and keeping your team together to make the most of their different abilities. The biggest surprise of Mario Plus Rabbids is how viciously tough it is. Most fights took me 5 or 10 minutes to get a perfect score by finishing within the turn limit and having all three teammates still alive but some took me an hour or more of trial and error attempts, testing out different combinations of the eight characters and slightly different approaches to the problem. Some of the difficulty spikes are really nasty, and Mario plus Rabbids knows it. At the start of most fights, you're asked if you want to play in easy mode, which gives you extra health. Even then, I wouldn't call some of these easy. You really have to understand how the mechanics work to win, which is a good thing unless you're just learning the ropes. Merging the intentionally obnoxious Rabbids with Mario mainstays like Boos and Piranha Plants produces a lot of weird combinations. There are also several levels that have a strong gimmick, and a few boss battles with unique objectives. On top of that, it's beautifully animated. Say what you will about Rabbids, but watching these characters move conveys intensity and dramatic action, right down to the twitch of Mario's stash. Between fights, Mario plus Rabbids throws some mostly simple puzzles in our path to cleanse the palette. I could never quite get used to the fact that I'm supposed to be watching the little Roomba thing leading the party instead of Mario, as 30 years of gaming history has taught me. That made control feel imprecise, and a few time puzzles were harder than they should have been as a result. Another stumble is the progression system, which doesn't make a lot of sense. If you run out of cash to upgrade weapons and want to change up your party to counter a new enemy, you have to revisit a previous fight to earn more. And that would be fine, except that you play the old levels with your leveled up characters, which makes them so easy they're a waste of time and the money is basically free. Mario Plus Rabbids also comes with a few co-op levels per world, though that's a little silly in a turn-based tactics game because it's no different from passing the controller back and forth between two people. Those levels do give you four characters instead of three, though, which opens up the tactics a little. All told, there's at least 20 hours of content here. That's good because I can't see a lot of replay value in going back to do it again, other than to try the same scenarios with less appropriate teams. Based on its colorful world, beautiful animation, and source material, you might expect Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle to be my first turn-based tactics game. But you're in for a surprise. Even for XCOM vets, some of its battles are challenging puzzles. A few do devolve into a trial and error slog, but a good mix of enemies, objectives, and character abilities keep things interesting. For more on Mario Plus Rabbids, check out 14 minutes of spooky world gameplay and 20 minutes of co-op.